Bienvenidos, metaleros hermanos y hermanas. Welcome, metal brothers and sisters. Well, uh, these are my other two books that I recently acquired, and uh, they're pretty much uh, both on the same subject, but just uh, both have a very different format, and uh, they're both uh, that size, uh, I would call coffee table size. You know, it's like in the living room or the TV room, you'd have it on the little... Uh, foot uh, coffee table of the von uh, kammer as we say in Dutch and um, so basically just a bunch of history right here and uh, one is a little better illustrated than the other and uh, l let me tell you the main difference between the two books they're both kind of expensive and well at least for me if I go over 40 bucks for a book or over 45 plus for a book and I feel like I'm really stretching the budget, but uh, that's just me because I'm stingy. And I think that's a Dutch trade I picked up from the Netherlands. Inside joke, by the way. And uh, so um, I'll just start with this one. I mean, very nice big cover. This is uh, paperback, of course. So it's a little more flimsy. And, um, and uh, probably the main difference is... This is more like a glossary or uh, what would you call like an encyclopedia of thrash. So it, li it literally has bands from A to Z from the thrash metal bands going back to the 80s, you know, all the way till, you know, the thrash resurgence of the 2000s and then some are the new neo thrash bands. You have the old thrash bands, you know, from when I was young and then you have the all the way up to the newer thrash metal bands where uh, they're guys that are like 18 to 20 some year old guys and they're trying to sound and look like you know they're back in 1987 but you know all in all it is uh, it's it's uh, definitely got the who's who of in there some bands you know I've heard of over the years or the names you know I remember over the years whether I got their albums or not some bands I never even heard of, and literally bands coming from all over the world. And of course, you know, the more famous bands, the more well known bands, they get a little more page space. And, uh, but uh, most of the bands are just a short synopsis and a discography, you know, whatever they release, what time and where, and uh, Metal Church. And um, I do have my own little bone to pick, but. You know, this doesn't deprecate the quality of the book. It, I mean, definitely not. But uh, some there's a lot of bands in here that I would have... To me, they're more like just straight-ahead heavy metal or what you call power metal, like Halloween and some other bands, like like uh, what I'm thinking about, like Anvil or Genghis Kong. Even though they influenced a lot of the thrash metal like metal church and to me they're just more like a like I call the US classic power metal sound or melodic metal progressive metal but they just threw it in uh, with they put it in in this book maybe because they were more you know they had more influence on the thrash metal scene like merciful fate and king diamond they weren't really thrash metal but they did influence a lot of the bands that came later you know that started a thrash wave you know but they were just heavy metal but you know they put them in here so you know, there there's a lot of uh like i said a lot of titles a lot of the who's who and um i mean it would take forever to tell you about every single band that's in here but if it's something you've heard of or even never heard of it's likely in there and uh a lot of stuff from you know, Eastern Europe, Japan, let I me mean, literally all over the world. And, um, you know, some I like more than others. And, um, some that were like just a quick blip on the radar of thrash metal history. Well, one album wonder, maybe they put out a really cool EP and then disappeared or name change. You know, who knows? Uh, but definitely really rich. With history, I, I mean, to be honest with you, I think it would probably be kind of boring to try to sit down and 
read it cover to cover. It'd be like trying to read to me the dictionary. But if you need a reference and say you heard of such and such band name comes across your mind, I mean, this is definitely a great uh, reference book. So I, I consider this more like a historical reference material as far as, you know, the history of extreme metal goes. And like I said, I don't. There's a lot of there I wouldn't even consider thrash. Just more, like maybe like Armored Saint. They put Armored Saint in there. To me, they're more just you know straight ahead heavy metal or power metal or the U.S. metal. Uh, but you know they did have an influence on the genre. So so that's what I'm saying. So if you want to nitpick about categories or if this is a crossover band and. Oh, that band was more of a punk band. I mean, it's it's all in pretty much the same broad family of extreme metal. Even bands that, you know, I consider more like the early death metal that, you know, they threw them in there. And, of course, you know, thrash was also the template for the other extreme metal genres and subgenres that came later. This one, actually, you can watch the video on YouTube, but I wanted to get the book... You know, um, and this is another coffee table book. This one is more a photo book. I mean, very illustrated. And, and this one is more region-based. And it just focuses on the old San Francisco Bay Area. You know, back in the heyday from, the, you know, the 1980s where, you know, Metallica, they were rejected horribly in L.A. And they found their home in acceptance in the San Francisco just uh, north of the state. Yeah, the last time I was in San Francisco, Ronald Reagan was in the White House. But I was still too little to get into any scene. You know, I was still like a really little elementary kid. But, uh, you know, back in the 80s, it was a really beautiful place. Not like now. I mean, California's a mess now. But, you know, socio-political issues aside, you know, this you know, it's definitely a great history of American music. You know, came from California, you know, just like New York or Detroit, and, um, or Michigan. And so again, you know, it's just basically the who's who of the thrash metal when they were young. You know, Metallica, Exodus, when Slayer came up from L.A. and they got a hero's welcome. I mean, there's lots of stories. You know, they show you like the dinky little club where it started. I mean, it's, it's all in here. Like, again, this isn't, like, this is just more a nice book to thumb through with your, if you're with your friends or your family and you want to, you know, have some laughs and, you know, you're just an enthuse, enthusiastic about, you know, the history of metal, you know, like I am. And you don't just want to collect records. You also, you know, want things where, you know, that are like historical books that you can read about. And so, in, you know, the, of course, it was the pre-internet era, and I did grow up in that time of tape trading and the record stores. You know, I, I really like the. I know I'm aging myself here, but the really good brick-and-mortar record stores. I mean, there's just tons of photos. I mean, it, it would probably take me a lot more time just to go through all of it, you know, especially on camera, but. Again, you know, just really rich history. I let my my parents take a look at it. They we were having some laughs. And of course, it's not just Bay Area bands, but also bands that came from the other parts of the country. You know, like DRI from Texas, the Suicidal Tendencies from LA, the punk, the uh, crossover subgenre of thrash, and uh, Paul Bailoff. He, he was known to be like a professional troublemaker. He died early. And, um, yeah, he died in his early 40s. So, you know, just uh, loads of fun. And so, like I said, I just got these, so I'm still getting acquainted with these. But, I mean, it just, just the, just the photos alone, you know. And, of course, I got a lot of friends in town that don't speak English, so, you know, this would be a good, you know, pitch, 
because this is all pictures, so we we'll have fun flipping through them together. All right, and uh, that's it for Joe's Record Store. My awesome books about thrash metal. Rock on, stay metal. Thanks again for watching our measly little channel. The very few and far between of you out there. Muchas gracias para mirando.